In this video, you'll learn how to connect an Excel spreadsheet as a database to your Bartender template. Bartender considers any data stored in a file outside of Bartender to be a database. By connecting a database to Bartender, you can pull the information from that database into your Bartender document. To connect a database to Bartender, you can access the Database Setup Wizard through the File menu by selecting Database Connection Setup. Bartender allows you to connect to many different types of databases. The Database Setup Wizard displays the different types of databases you can connect to. Select Microsoft Excel and click the Next button. On the Select File screen, enter the file name of your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or navigate to it on your computer. When you click Next, you'll be able to choose the table or sheet you want to connect to Bartender. Select the sheet from the drop-down list. You'll need to designate how the information in the sheet is organized, either by rows or columns. If the first row of the sheet contains field names, be sure that the first row has field names box is checked. If you only want to connect a portion of the spreadsheet to Bartender, you can specify the range of the cells that you want to be connected. When you click Next, you have the option to add another table to Bartender or confirm that you're finished connecting tables to Bartender. When you click Finish, you'll see your spreadsheet listed in the Database Setup dialog. To verify that you are indeed connected to the correct table, you can check the record browser to see your database table. On the Connection Properties page of the Database Setup dialog, you have the option to create a named database connection. By creating a named database connection, you'll be able to store the link to this database inside of Bartender. The named database connection saves only the connection to the database. Any configurations that you make to the database will only be stored within the current template. This allows you to use different tables and configurations of the same database in different documents without recreating the connection again and again. The icons at the bottom of the navigation pane allow you to make changes to your database connection by refreshing the fields in your connected database, disconnecting the existing database, or adding a new database. When you click OK, the fields from the database will appear in the Data Sources toolbox under Database Fields. To connect the database field to your template, simply drag a database field from the toolbox to the template. If you have already placed objects on the template, you can drag and drop the data sources onto the objects that you want to populate with the data from your spreadsheet. If the object contains multiple data sources, highlight the data source you want to connect while holding the Shift key, then drop the new data source on top of the existing data source. This also works for barcode objects. By dropping the zip code data source onto the USPS Intelligent Mail barcode, the zip codes from your spreadsheet will automatically populate this barcode. At the bottom of the design area, you can page through the records to see the information supplied by your database. If you find your database has been disconnected, try clicking on the Live Database Connection icon. If you are disconnected from your database, you'll see a red X at the bottom of this icon. When you're ready to print, you have a number of options for selecting the records you want to print. You can see in the print dialog that the Use Database box is checked. When you open the Queried Records drop-down list, you can choose which records to print. You can select all of the records, the first record only, just selected records that you define, or you can choose to select the records at print time. When you choose Selected, you can type in the records you want to print in the Selected Records field, or open the Record Selector by clicking on the Select Records button. Inside the Record Selector, you can enter in the record numbers that you want to print, or you can check the records you want to print and uncheck the records you don't want to print. You can also prompt for the record selector at print time by choosing the Selected at Print Time option in the Queried Records field. When you click Print or Preview, you'll open the record selector to choose which records you want to print. When you click Preview or Print, you can see that only the selected records are printed. If you still have questions about this process, Consult our other resources at support.siegelscientific.com. Thank you for watching.